every time he'll think before he eats it. Hey, who's in there? What are you boys doing in here? You know what? Just let me do this right here. Ah! <laughs> now what now? How's that T-Rex dude? Uh, T-Rex dude? Look out, he's behind you! Bad T-Rex! Bad! 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 Bad lizard! Bad! Yeah! Yeah, get out of here now! Don't you be peeing on my rug! What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range and today we're going to have some fun with a revolver that I've wanted for a very long time. Let's go check it out and get started. So the revolver that I have today is a Taurus Raging Judge Magnum. I'm sure you've seen other Judge revolvers. Those are chambered in 45 Colt and 410 shells. This one is chambered in 454 Casul 45 Colt and three inch 410 shells. It's a six shot double action revolver, a six and a half inch barrel, and it's an absolute monster. It's one I've wanted for a very long time. I'm very excited to try it out today. Have not taken the first shots yet. I always wait till you're out here with me to do that. But before we do, I don't believe I'm wearing the appropriate attire to be shooting this thing. It's judgment time. All right, we're going to start out by taking some shots at some steel targets with several different types of ammunition. So first, we're going to take a shot with some 410. This is a three inch shell and that's number four shot. Didn't do a whole lot. Next, I have another 410 shell. It's a three inch shell and it's triple lot buck. The triple lot buck had a little more pop than the bird shot. Now let's see what happens when we use another 410 shell, but this time it's a slug. See how accurate we can be with the slug. I'm gonna aim for that O. Oh, pretty close. Okay, I got one more 410 shell. That was a slug. Now I have some less lethal triple lot buck. This might bounce back. I'm not sure. We're about to find out. <laughs> okay, that's all the 410 shells. Next is a 45 Colt full metal jacket. Colt didn't sound too powerful either. And now last, the big boy. Underwood ammo, 300 grain jacket at hollow point, 454 Casul. Should be able to tell a big difference. So now I'm going to take a few shots at that Texas star and uh, we're going to use some 300 grain 454 Casul. I'm about to sentence that Texas star to some pain. Texas Star is meant to be shot with 454 Casul, but seems like it held up pretty well. That's enough steel targets. It's time to place judgment on some inanimate objects. Okay, up first, we are gonna shoot a Furby. Okay, for this Furby, 
I'm going to use some 410 3-inch triple-lot buck. And judging from our first shots, that spreads really big when we start scooting back. So, uh, old Furby here is going to get it point blank. <laughs> oh my gosh! That Furby did like a quadruple backflip and landed perfectly on the burb. Furby needs another. <laughs> Missing his whole face now. All right, one more and I'm done. It's just as funny the third time as it was the first time. All right, that did it, yeah, there you go. Those Furbies are tough. And for the record, this Furby did not work and it's not a collectible. Next, we're gonna shoot something that's absolutely disgusting. One gallon of mustard. You know what that means. Please in time. Now we'll shoot the mustard. For the mustard, we're gonna use 454 Casul 300 grain jacket at hollow point. This should be pretty eventful. Oh! It's all over my shoes. What an absolute mess. That is ridiculous. Up next, I have a food that is near and dear to Garan Thumb's heart. The Garan Thumb CRE. Crayons ready to eat. I sentence you to 454 Casul. <laughs> the CREs are proving to be really awesome targets. Next, I have some apples and I'm loaded up with 410 three inch number four bird shot. Let's see if we can hit these in the air. <laughs> I'm getting applesauce in my wig. Up next, we're gonna shoot some eggplant because nobody likes eggplant. But we're not gonna shoot what you would be thinking. This monstrosity of a product is six pounds of eggplant puree. I mean, for real, who would buy this? By the power vested in this 454 Casul, I sentence you to non-existence. Oh! That was disgusting. Eggplant puree, AKA canned bird poop. Up next, I have a target that is a delicacy among Texans. Demo ranch dressing. Now, I'm gonna set this up, and first, I'm gonna shoot it with the non-lethal 410 shells and just see what happens. And then if it doesn't really do anything, which I don't really expect it to, we'll blast it with the 454 Casul. Okay, I'm loaded up with two rounds of the 410 shells. These are two and a half inch rubber buckshot, less lethal. Let's see what they do to the demo ranch dressing. Oh! Well, that was cute. Give it one more of the less lethal. Oh! actually did better than I thought it would. I don't, nope, it didn't make it all the way through it. 
Uh, our next target is some nacho cheese. And I don't want to hear a word out of any of you because you know what kind of cheese this is. Nacho cheese. Oh! <laughs> okay, for our last target, we're gonna make some Kentucky coleslaw. I have five cabbages and we're gonna shoot each cabbage point blank with a different type of ammunition and see what kind of results we get. Okay, the first cabbage gets 410 bird shot. <laughs> Cabbage number two gets 410 triple lot buck. <laughs> Cabbage number three gets a 410 slug. <laughs> ah. Cabbage number four gets 45 colt. I'm not expecting very much. That was pathetic. And cabbage number five gets 454 Casul. Don't forget, I'm going to be doing a fan featured target on the channel now. Send me your stuff. There's a P.O. box in the description down below and keep your eyes peeled because you might just see it on the channel. I hope you enjoyed today's video. What did you think about the Raging Judge? Leave your answers in the comment section down below. If you did enjoy today's video, do me a big favor and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, be sure and check out my 2.5 million subscriber giveaway. There's a link in the description down below. Also be sure and check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistics Shorts, Patreon, Facebook, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you want to pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you at the next trial.